Hello and welcome, I am Shox and today we're going to play The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. I see you gather before me. Hungry, terrified, clutching your babes to your breast. Emperor Emir has marched his legions into our lands, laid siege to every fortress from here to the Blue Mountains. Rabid and ravenous, he bites and bites away. Men of the North, you stand at the precipice. Your kings have failed you, so now you turn to the gods. And yet you do not plead. You do not kneel to dust your heads with ash. Instead, you wail, why have the gods forsaken us? We must look into the trials we failed long ago. In a time past, our world intertwined with another through an upheaval scholars call the conjunction of the spheres. The gods allowed unholy forces to slip into our domain. The offspring of that cataclysm was the nefarious force called magic. Yet we did not banish it, instead studying the vile arcane for our own power and wealth. And the monsters at our door, the unholy relics of this conjunction. The trolls, the corpse eaters, the werewolves. Did we raise our swords against them? Or have we laid this burden on others? On so-called witches. Stray children taught the ways of foul sorcery. Their bodies mutated through blasphemous ritual. Sent to fight monsters, though they could not distinguish good from evil. The flicker of humanity long extinguished within them. <laughs> yes, their numbers have dwindled through the years. But a few still roam our lands, offering their bloody work for coin. To this day, they shame us with their very existence. The North bleeds! Flogged by war! The battles are the gods' whip, chastisement for our sins. And let us not forget the terrors, the scourges from beyond our world. The wild hunt rides the sky with every full moon. The Dark Raiders abduct our children into lands unknown. Some say they herald a second conjunction. Can we chart a course back into the light? Will we find the strength to banish the mages from our kingdoms? Unite around the warmth of the eternal fire. Nigh is the time of the sword and axe. None will fight this war in our stead. Nigh! It's the time of madness and disdain. I'm very excited for this game, winning now over three weeks uh, when I pre-ordered it. I pre-loaded it two days ago and, and it was agony not being able to play it. But today, since about two and a half hours ago, we can play The Witcher. We will be playing on... Um, everything basically on Ultra, everything on Ultra, Full HD. All the post-processing will be also on Full HD and we will be recording at around 60 frames per second. Uh, I will play with a gamepad and see how that works out. You guys just let me know if you would prefer uh, how... the. I guess the, the biggest difference is how you look around. If you pr would prefer... Uh, more of mouse keyboard input just let me know and we will take a look at that So I already started the game a bit played like 10 minutes just to make sure the recording is okay so but we will start a brand new game and um, I probably won't do the Most intense difficulty. I would do one below just because it's a let's play and I don't want to be stuck for like half an hour trying to fight one single enemy uh, we will show tutorials just because I'm new to this game.
All right, I think we're just a very interesting flashback to the events that happened on this battlefield in the war that was going on. You now it seems like we're back home, relaxing, more or less. <laughs> what the hell? Should take care of your bugs, son. You know I don't find that amusing. Wow. Interesting foreplay. It wasn't meant <laughs> to amuse, but to prod you to hurry. It's midday already. You promised Siri you'd train with her. Go before Vesemir bores her to death with those etchings. Well, he was clearly through some battles, throwing his more scars than skin so, on him. Later then. Mm. See you later. All right, it's like in real life, gotta work first, and then have the fun later. That hair actually looks great. Um, I think it's partly also due to NVIDIA's new um, technology. I, I forgot how it's called, but it is amazing. It, it's insanely complex to render hair um, nicely just because it has so many parts to it and it, it's pretty hard to actually cheat around you know animating single hairs welcome to the tutorial I decided to actually uh, play the tutorial just because I am new to the game and especially on a gamepad welcome to the Witcher 3 wild hunt this tutorial will introduce the game's core elements each message will be saved in the glossary You'll also find detailed information about world lore and gameplay mechanics. To disable game tutorial messages, go to the options menu. All right, let's take a look around. The minimap up there. All right, and talk to Jennifer. See, I thought Siri could stand to wait a little longer. It's uninstructive, not to mention unreasonable. Let's be unreasonable here. I don't want to be reasonable. Aha, uh -huh. so that's the way the wind blows. Absolutely. Go with her, then come back. It'll give me a chance to put my face on. Of all the women I've known, you're the only one who does that before. You've known many. What's it matter? <laughs> only ever thought of you. All right, let's get going then. Uh, hold LT. Okay, these are all our witcher senses. Um, we have a magic trap, or so far at least a protective shield, fire damage, influence opponent's mind, and telekinetic blast. Um, let's just stick with that one for now. And get on our way. And, but first, actually, let's take a look outside. The landscape is beautiful. Shit. Look at this. Mountain pass is beautiful as ever. It looks just amazing. Yeah, r really nice graphics. I really enjoy the game so far. Also, the interior is very, very nice. But let's get going. Uh, we have to train someone um forgot her name
I love the music. It is, it is very nice. Very relaxing. Very matching. For this very peaceful oh, situation. Fast asleep. Yeah. Series disappeared somewhere, of course. She prefers practice to theory. Hmm. What? Time to wake up, Master. These lessons so boring they put you to sleep too. Damn it. After taking notes on ghouls and owl ghouls, wanted to rest my eyes a bit. <laughs> Making her slog through that brick? No wonder she took off. John of Bruce lacks flair, true, but he's reliable. Not like the hogwash they print nowadays. She's tackling the pendulums, right? How many times do I have to tell her? Don't train alone. It only embeds your errors. Bring our young damsel to the lower courtyard. If she wants to practice, she'll get to practice. Hmm. We're like... The, the caring guy, like, don't get mad at her, but yeah, we spoiled her. We I did. Admit we've spoiled her. We've spoiled her. I've been saying it from the start. Siri needs a firm hand. Been saying that true. But you let her walk all over you just like the rest of us do. Fine. I suppose I'm partly to blame. But this has to end. Now. Killing monsters is not something to be taken lightly. Siri must understand that. She's to become one of us. I'll see you below. Wrong. Now I see why you were so eager to practice. Strike. Reflexes are still slow. Maybe for a witcher. Think drowners or striggers will go easy on you because you haven't undergone the mutations? Though in your shoes, I'd fear Vesemir more than any strigger. Disobeying his instructions? Unwise. Well, yes, but that book was horribly dull. I know, and you know that's no excuse. <sighs> I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Yeah, I don't say apology is enough. I mean, apparently she's doing that all, all the time. And, you know, everybody lets her just do whatever she wants. So it's time to change. Sorry's not good enough. You're going to read Ghouls and Al Ghouls in its entirety. Appendices included. No, please. I'd rather clean the stables. End of discussion. Come on. We'll practice with the others down below. Shall we run the walls? Sure. Of course. Is a witcher school or an elven bathhouse? I I like how the maybe if you fall. Use up. I like how they they kind of embedded the tutorial into the story in, in like a, a nice way. B. Oh. That one. Ah, there you go. What did I tell you about breathing? Through your mouth, in rhythm with your steps. 
All right, so in, in this game, apparently, so when out. you fall too uh, far, you will actually die. Or, I, I guess, take damage. Oh, well, that didn't work. A little clumsy um, to actually get onto the ladders. Because, I mean... Wow. This is ridiculously bad. <laughs> All right. Um, so B is also jumping and leaping over obstacles. All right, now get the fucking ladder. There you go. First time. Hell yeah. Hey, I think we also need to practice uh, a little more. Oh. What do we have here? Oh, we can light it on fire. It's daylight. Let's save wood, I, I suppose. Oh no, Vesemir's got that look. What did you expect? Anything to say for yourself, young lady? I'm very sorry, Uncle Vesemir. Young blood craves action, I understand that. But when you fight a beast, knowledge counts as much as your silver sword. At the very least, you ought to be able to tell a ghoul from an owl ghoul. By markings, like unto the panthera tigris that in Zeracania dwells, and by the sickly paleness of its visage. Mm. So you did read the chapter. Still, you should have asked if... But you were asleep, Uncle Vesemir. Hmm. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Uh, wait, you could have said that he did the exercise while Vesemir was asleep. So you did the reading. Why not admit it right off? Never pounce on an advantage as soon as it appears. Wait till it stands to have maximum effect. Uncle Vesemir's <laughs> words. Well, you're a quick study. Quick, but mischievous. Fine, we've talked enough. Geralt, you're with me. Lambert with Eskel. Siri with the dummy. Again? Stop groaning and grab a sword. What do you think? Should we start by reviewing the fundamentals, or go right to free training? Um... Yeah, let's look at the combat tutorial. Should work on the basics. Even skilled masters need to hone the fundamentals, and Ciri's barely a novice. Alright, I guess it's the first time to actually fight something. Hell yeah. Witches must be prepared to fight foes of all kinds. Be they plate-clad knights, ethereal wraiths, or bone-crushing giants. To match the strengths and exploit the weaknesses of different enemies, witches need to use a variety of weapons and combat techniques. The core tools of the trade are their swords. One steel for fighting humans and non-humans, the other silver for slaying monsters. Witches have also mastered a simple form of combat magic, these signs are as powerful as the spells wielded by mage, but they can be cast very quickly with simple one-handed gestures, making them quite useful in the heat of combat. Witches also are adept in basic alchemy. They can brew powerful potions, blade oils, and bombs, all of which give them a keen advantage when fighting stronger or faster foes. All right, I guess we uh, fight Vesemir now. Resort to select or deselect a target. All right. When you have a target selected, all your attacks are directed toward it. You don't have to select the target during combat, but doing so can help you focus on a specific opponent. Quick cuts. One, two, three. All right. Stop showing off, Geralt. Yeah. Strong strikes now. Give it all your time. Oh. 
charm. Never lock your elbow when striking, young lady. All right, so there are two different attacks. One is a strong one. Position series. And remember. Get dodging. All right, so there's slight dodging and there's like, you know, jumping out of the way when there's um, a bigger attack coming in. Oh, right here. Pretend now, live later. Repost, strike, counter strike. All right. Let's do that. See, I, I like that there are multiple... Um, actually, that the combat is much more interesting than just, let's say Skyrim, you know, you hit and that's about it. Um, he can actually um, dodge out of the way. And you can counterattack, you can block, you can attack quickly, and you can um, attack, you know, more forcefully. So I, re I really like that. Um, oops. <laughs> Alright, so uh, I, I just cast one of the, um, the spells. So let us activate that one and... When is sometimes called the Ah, that Watch hurts. <laughs> carefully to see why. Oh, I see. So basically it's like a shield, uh, the Who's Quen. Next? Cast Igni, Geralt. I want to see and sparks fly. We want Igni, which is Yeah, which is the fire one, I think. See, if not for the Quen sign, I'd be a flame by now. The Igni sign deals fire damage and has a chance to apply Come on. other stuff. What? Not bad. Come on, come closer. What the blazes are you doing? Yeah, that looks interesting. I don't know if it, well, the, the thing is it doesn't actually take damage, which is um. So I don't actually know how efficient. Anything I do is, and I don't feel he's like actually fighting back. Um, what the blazes are you doing? Oh. <laughs> I'm supposed to just um, use telekinetic blast um, on him. That works too. See that, Siri? Art will knock anyone or anything. All right, the artist signs stuns opponents, Time or in some cases. Acid. Damn it! I hate this yeah. feeling. And we have. That one was a mirror. And cast, uh, this one influences an opponent's mind. Damn it. Let's try that. Actually, can really muddle you. Oh, it's, it's basically like a disable, a short time disable for certain enemies. Sure, and last but not least, I think, is the Urden sign. Um, it's a magic trap. Oh, I hey, couldn't move if I wanted to. Oh, he's basically. Uh, Don't worry, Siri. Quen will dampen the blow. He, it's basically a, a, a trap, so everybody who walks into that circle will be trapped. It's like the I think Chronosphere in um, Dota 2. I don't know if it affects people that are already in the trap or if it's just for people walking through it. All right, we also have bombs, so let's throw a bomb at him. Nice. It looks like we finished our basic training, and we shall stand in the spot. We, oh, we have to, um, let's see, how do you aim again? I really don't know how that targeting post at least to throw the bomb. Oh, okay, so I just walk up there and then, hmm. Now I have to stand here and then throw it at the posts. Of 
question is how do I oh okay I hold it then I can aim the bombs and throw them nice all right the comedy tutorial is now over if you want you can continue training this mirror or stop training and simply sheath your sword by holding left or right Enough. All right. Continue training at will. Oh, what? What? <laughs> that was mean. Whoa! You really showed him, kid. Siri, get down here. <laughs> A little she devil. As soon as she's back, we'll set her to polishing all the swords at Kaer Morhen. Find that helmet? Siri? Uh, I'll make sure to find every last blade for you. Remembering the old days when he used to train on it, I guess. <laughs> Flashback. Wow, that was a crazy story, and I'm not sure if you, like, remembered this, if this actually happened, or, um, if this was a dream. You all right? <laughs> Had a nightmare. About? It'd take forever to explain. Dawn, some way off. We've got time. Yeah, let's talk about what happened. I started in the guest room at Kaer Morin. I was relaxing in the tub and next to me... Tris? Yennefer. Funny, isn't it? She's never been there. Seems so real in my dream, though. Was she nagging you about something? <laughs> mm -hmm. True to life, indeed. We'll find her. Then we trained with Siri. I went and found Siri. Then we trained. Those were the days. Hmm. Little she devil. I've trained kids who were faster, stronger, but none had her character. Didn't end well, did it? Your dream. No. The wild hunt appeared, attacked Siri. I couldn't move, stood there like a stump. It was just a dream. Yeah, the, the question is, do we believe in basically dreams have a meaning for us? And I think um, in that setting, yeah, dreams we, we would be someone who would believe that dreams have a deeper meaning. That's the problem. It was more. In the past, when Siri'd appear in my dreams, something was wrong. She was in danger. We taught her how to defend herself from anything, wraiths included. Guess it's time to go. Be dawning soon. Time to go. Wait. Show me the letter from Yennefer. Might have overlooked some hint in there. Didn't overlook anything. We were meant to meet in Willoughby. 
That's what she wrote. Meanwhile, one army or another burned the village to the ground. All we can do is follow her trail, so... Stop talking for a minute and give me the letter. Oh, how about that? It does smell of lilac and gooseberries. You were gonna read it, not sniff it. We must meet soon. Willoughby near Vizima. Hmm. Nothing else to guide us there. What's this postscript? I still have the unicorn? Hmm. Huh. Well, it might lead, like, might tell us where it actually is. Stuffed unicorn. Used it once or twice. In certain situations. <laughs> hmm. The things young folk get up to these days. Back on topic. How's it look? How far behind Yennefer are we? Two or three days. Trail's fresh. But it looks like it leads towards the main road. Could be muddled there. Wait, hear that? I hear it. I smell it. Ghouls. Alright, time to kill them. Life on the continent and in the Skellig Isles is nasty, brutish, and short. War lays waste to the land, and those it spares live in fear of the countless monsters lurking outside every town and village. Monsters are shown with a silver health bar above their hats, indicating that you should fight them with your silver sword. I don't even know if I can uh, choose which sword um, I'm using. And I already forgot how to target a specific enemy. Right, let's first take care of those ghouls. Striking opponents generates adrenaline points. Certain abilities you can acquire allow you to perform special attacks that require and consume adrenaline points. Your adrenaline points slowly decline when you're not engaged in combat. Of course. Ah, okay. An army's past necrophages follow. Let's go before any more show up. So yeah, we, we took quite a beating, which wasn't necessarily um, good. And I really like the, the UI here. Um, it... You can see on, on the top right, you can see the uh, the day of the time, the weather, and where the sun is. Um, I like the logo on, on the top left, like the Witcher sign. I really like the UI. It, it, it's very clean. It is very attractive, I think. And it conveys everything you need to know. You can regenerate vitality by eating or drinking or by meditating for at least one hour. No. While playing on the blood and broken bones and death march difficulty levels, meditation does not regenerate vitality. Hmm. Food and drink can be placed in your consumable slots for quick use or during combat. Just up or down to consume them and regenerate vitality. You have some food equipped in your upper consumable slot. Press up now to eat it and regenerate a portion of your vitality. Alright, let's do that. Eat some bread. And that didn't regenerate too much, so um, we should probably eat a little bit more. And figure out how we target um, for next time. And let's loot all the ghouls. Uh, it's nice that it shows it on the minimap as well, where dead enemies are, uh, where we can probably always um, get some loot out of them. And there, um, those things might be herbs that he can, um, yeah, white. Yeah, so I assume those are used for uh, alchemy later, but for now, uh, we won't bother with it. Couldn't stop talking about how useful they are as creatures. Witches spent most of their time on the road in search of the next contract. They must trek across wide valleys, climb over high mountain peaks, and trudge through thick bogs. Luckily, Gerald can always count on his horse, Roach, to help him in his travels. To have Roach come to you, double press up. Alright. Be 
Because you can brew potions from their blood. Whoa, they're rich. <laughs> no, because by eating rotting corpses, they prevent epidemics. Hmm. All Even right. they eat the living as well? No. Really upset him, too. His theory collapsed. It is very interesting to listen to their conversations. And on that note, and the nice uh, sunset, I guess it is. Um, oh, no, it's the morning. Um, uh, let's end the first episode. Thank you very much for joining me for The Witcher 3, The Wild Hunt. Don't forget to subscribe to be updated when new episodes are uploaded. And have a great day.